I was reading a book about chickens when the telephone rang. I was reading a book about chickens when the telephone rang. Yeah, yeah, I hear you guys. Man. The chickens want a new chicken coop. They've pretty much outgrown the old chicken tractor here, which has been taken apart and modified. And kind of a temporary thing. Welcome to hack number 32, the chicken coop. Well, at the moment, that's all the chickens have for some shelter. And it's not too bad, but it's just really not big enough. And they uh, tend to be roosting on the top and producing a whole lot of, let's just call it fertilizer. So really, really need a place where they can roost inside a coop, be able to lay their eggs in there in three separate chambers, have a little bit of, you know, comforts of home. Chickens, chickens need a home too. Right now they're over there foraging around somewhere. So this is my rough plan, the, uh, the rough shop drawing. Um, this thing is gonna be about 66 inches high the front of it will be about three feet high 20 feet what 20 feet 20 inches high in the back and uh, divide it up into three different areas for them to lay their little eggs in and I'll probably put a dowel this is top view this would be a side view probably put a little dowel in there for them to roost on but this is my rough shop drawing to get started with and then I've laid out how I'm gonna cut my pieces out of a couple of uh, 4x8 sheets of plywood. Well, the first thing I've done is uh, get the basic side frame put together. This will be the, the bottom of the uh, floor area where the chickens are going to be. These are the two uprights. Hi, Sophie. And then I have a piece of plywood that will go on here. I'm going to put this piece on before I do that top piece. That way it makes it easier to cut that top piece because I'll have the plywood on there as a guide. Whack! Now we just line the plywood up and start putting screws in. Got my doggy supervisors watching. Uh, keep me in line. Make sure everything's going well. Hey guys, they were around for the chicken tractor. This is going to be a lot better than the chicken tractor. That was for when they were little chickens. Cut the plywood on, the whole thing's flipped over. And then I can put a piece of 2x2 two two across here and use this leftover extending piece of 2x to mark my angles. This is a pretty easy way of doing it. You know, it's a little bit of wood you need to cut off from the top here, but it just makes it really easy to get those angles exactly right and not have to use a bevel gauge and measure point to point and all that stuff. And it keeps everything nice and square. Kind of a shortcut. So now I'll cut this piece get it mounted across here on this area and then cut off these extra pieces here and do the same thing for the other side and I'll have my two sides built. I pilot drill lots of stuff when I put it together and when I make things out of wood I love to use screws, just drywall screws. These are three inch ones. I use them quite a bit in the stuff I do. And I really like it because if you ever want to take the thing apart, um, it's a lot easier. It also makes for a really, really strong construction. Now we'll flip it over, put screws in along here, cut these off, and this side will be done. Repeat the process for the other side. Here's the two sides built, um, but we need to put uh, put the thing together into the shape of a house now. So here's a little construction tip for you. This is essentially a house that I'm building. So this applies to framing out and building a house too. When you're uh, 
putting the sheathing on something, you always have to factor in the thickness of the sheathing that you already have in place. So I've got a four foot wide piece of lumber to put on here from a four by eight sheet of plywood. And I need to figure out what the dimension will be for the two by two. It's gonna go between these two and separate them. So in order to do that, I make a measurement of both of my sides combined, which is four and a quarter inches. And since I want four feet to span that, I need to take my, my 48 inches, four feet, and deduct four and a quarter inches, which comes out to 43 and three quarters inches. So I'll cut the piece of two by two that goes between these at 43 and three quarters. And when I put it in there, this dimension should up, end up at 48 inches. Now, now I just got to get the piece on the front of here, and then it's time to move it over that away to the location it's going to be because it's going to get pretty heavy here pretty quick, I think. So I should move it off from my porch and over into the other part of the yard while it's still a little bit lightweight. chickens. That's the front. Let's go get that mounted on to our little building. Okay, got it all nice and leveled. Time to put on the front. I got the front held in piece with a couple of clamps. I'll get a screw in each corner first. Then I can make sure everything is all parallel and square and put the rest of the screws in. Here's, uh, here's another neat little trick. Uh, this is the back of the chicken coop, and I need a place to access the eggs, right? So this piece I have cut ahead of time with my circular saw just by inserting the saw blade and going up to the corners, but not cutting all the way through yet. I'll do that with a jigsaw later. And the hinges that go on here, I just measured those out equidistant from each other. And this little groove that you have from the saw blade can actually help you put the hinges on ahead of time. It's a lot easier this way. You're not fighting with this, trying to stay centered in everything. It's automatically lined right up. And because of the way the hinge is shaped, it will actually just kind of find its own center right in that groove because the, the hinge barrel is a little bit round, right? So if you just kind of give it a little wiggle and a push, you'll feel it goes right into a nice little spot where it wants to be centered all by itself. Make sure you get the screws started right in the very center of the uh, hole on the hinge. Very critical because it'll pull it off from where you had it. That lined up and that's not good. It'll make the hinge bind and that's no fun. There we go. I'll finish putting the screws in these and take the jigsaw and cut the corners and That'll be that. I can also mount my latches up here before I cut away all the rest of this as well. There we go, all cut out. I used two window sash latches because they're really simple. There we go. Look at that, all done. 
much easier than trying to do it when it's already cut out. Just... This is pretty much a repeat of what I did in the front. Clamp it in place, get two screws in the corners, and then square everything up and put the rest of the screws in. Next up, we have the bottom. I notched out the corner here for the legs. Now I need to get this underneath and attach it. This is going to be kind of fun. Oh, there's no chicken poop down here. Almost ready. We gotta get the bottom in first. She's ready to get in here and lay eggs on. Martha, calm down. Right. Next order of business is the dividers. Three chickens, three places to lay eggs. So I've marked the center lines and I've got holes pre-drilled where the screws will come through. I'm going to apply a bit of glue to this because I want this to stay in here good and strong. Now I've got a cross brace to put in here as a little ledge to keep the straw in here for their nest in place. I cut that and notched it accordingly. Whacked in the place, here comes the train. All right, made lots of progress. Things are looking pretty good here. Of course, the next thing that has to get put on would be the wire that goes underneath here for the floor of their coop. And that will be some half inch uh, rabbit wire, it's usually known as. It's like a half inch grid, 16 gauge wire. I'll cover that part with that and leave it open. And that way the chicken poops can fall through and I can actually collect it from the ground here. Well, Martha, what do you think? Martha likes it. Martha the chicken. She's the biggest one. The wire is in the bottom, and now it's time to cut the roof. Got a big old piece of tin here. And believe it or not, I'm going to cut it with that circular saw. Yes, it can be done. Martha, you're awful noisy. Okay, we got the roof tin cut, and in the process of putting it on here. I'm using some screws that have uh, rubber washers on them so the rain won't leak in. Martha likes her new chicken coop. Well, it's all done now. Added a little ramp so they can get up in a little bit easier. I got the wire in the bottom. They can hang out in here and 
poop to their heart's content and then it'll all fall out the bottom here and I can catch it and put it on my garden as fertilizer this coming spring. That'll be great. The roof is all on. I think I'll add a window right there in the front and hinge the window so that I can get in there and clean out the coop a little bit now and then. And maybe a window here on the side might be kind of fun. And at the back here there's the door with access to the three placed places for them to roost and lay eggs. Let's take a look in there. There's one, two, three. Three nesting areas. I'll be pulling eggs out of there. Let's go inside and see what it's like in there for chickens. Ooh, nice and cozy. I'll probably put a bar across here so they can have a place to sit up and roost if they want at night. That's, uh, that's about it. The chicken coop is all done. Ready for you to start laying eggs in, Martha. JFET, are you going to lay some eggs? Yeah? I don't think he can lay eggs. Well, there's already been a couple of chickens climbing in and out of here. Lucy went in there and made a little nest. and Maybe she'll lay some eggs by tomorrow morning. But that's it. The chicken coop is done. It's been a long day of building it. And I'm really glad that they have a place to stay warm for the winter. And I can also get out the eggs a lot easier than the old one. But it's uh, a lot cleaner. The poop will all stay kind of down there in the bottom. And not so much around the chickens. So that's about it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep on laying eggs. I mean, no wait, hacking. Keep on, keep on hacking. That's, that's it. Because it's, it's a hack thing. Yeah. Hacking. I was reading a book about